Hey everybody. Larry and Melissa from Chi County Golf Ranch. We're going to talk a little bit about a chipping technique or a routine or a practice drill or however you want to call it. So a lot um, of our students get scoopy when they chip. You know, what is scoopy? What, is, what so does that mean? They're trying to help the ball in the air. What's so the effectively, holy cow. Oh, I wow. Know. I know. Gosh. Impatient. Okay. So they actually go this that, way. Uh, yeah. And they're yeah. trying to help the ball in the air. And we have to understand that the club's made to actually get the ball in the air on its own if we allow the club to return back to our center. Right. So the chipping motion, um, we don't like to say you hit down on it, but right. it's descending. It right. has to it has to come from a high spot, work to almost a level position, and that's how the golf ball gets in the air. Right. But if we go this way, one, you're gonna hit behind it, and well, a lot of times the club will you bounce. Can anything, you can do anything, top it, try Yeah, well, the, ball, the club will bounce behind the ball, right. bounce into the back of it, and then you get a skull. Right. People think, oh, I hit it too hard. No, you just No, you actually it. hit it with the wrong part of the club. So yeah. you hit it down here on the sole instead of the right face. here on the face. Right, and so, they don't know how to use the face. Absolutely, so we have to learn how to use the face of the, of the club. So we, we've, I've, I've been using this for over 30 years, so, and they didn't have these sticks back then. I used a nipper device, but well, I've been using something yeah, like this for a long time. Yeah, I've put another shaft in the... That, I've done yeah. all kinds of things, yeah. So this is a driveway reflecting, reflecting marker. marker that you can get at Lowe's for like three for two bucks or whatever. And we're gonna put it on the back side of the club so that it's towards my fingers and the Where grip. we grip the club. What's that? Where we grip I the club. I thought you said re-grip the club. No. I'm like, what? So, um, she has cotton in her ear today. The stick then um, is on my target side of my body. So for me, it's on my left side. So when I get set up here, it's over here against my side. Right. So I can still hinge the club on the way back and go through. And when I come through like this, the club is on my side. And show them an impact. Show them exactly so that, stop and so impact. So impact. You're, there's no scoop because no of this scoop. stick. So I can't go this way because of the stick because of the stick so i have to move with the stick right and um you know we've talked a lot about chipping but legs have to be quiet Very it's quiet. more of an upper body motion hands have to be soft right the club has to hinge almost on 90 percent of our chip shots right <clears throat> you know, we can go through probably 20 different chip shots around the green right and almost all of them we need to hinge a the little club. hinge it's, yeah it's just little so like I'm not taking the club back very far, but I'm hinging. So my arms aren't right, really getting coming back, the but it's just, it's very small, but my hands are soft on the club. But if you watch what she did when she hinged it, then she swung through her, what we call the triangle works, and that stick keeps her from scooping and the shot. And the club's in front of me the and whole time. the club's in front of you the entire time. Yeah. I, I use this, this stick with on a full swing of occasionally, with some of the kids or the students yeah, I have that get like scoopy. Yeah, we do like a nine o'clock to three o'clock drill with it. I don't like using it a lot, but it's effective with people who really get scoopy with their shots. Absolutely. And it gets them to rotate through the shot, but I don't like using it a lot, but and it's, it's a very start, effective drill. It starts as a mindset. We yeah. feel like we got to help the ball. We don't have to help it. The club it is may built get it to in do here. what it needs to do if we let it happen. Right, so. right. Come check us out for wedge fittings. Absolutely. The bottom of the club is very important to understand how it works. Oh, for sure. So I had a lesson with a high school student yesterday, and um, he lost his sand wedge, which is pretty typical right. of our high school boys. But, um, you know, I said, hey, do you usually dig with your sand wedge? And he's like, oh, no, but I usually hit chunky, which is the he's same digging, thing. Yeah. He's a digger. So I explained to him, like, hey, your leading edge needs to be more rounded, and right. you probably need more balance on your club right. so that you don't dig into right. the ground. So, so kind of he would brings. be going this way yeah. into his shots instead of allowing the sole of the club to work, to work for him. Yeah. So there's so many wedges and putters are need to be fitted. They, they need to be need fitted. To be Big fitted. Time. And that's one of the things that people shy away from. So yeah, they don't like please talking about it. talk to the putting guru here about. Well, talk to both of us. We, we got it. <laughs> we understand it. And uh, check us out on the wedge fittings, the putting fittings, all of it. Come check us out, subscribe. A lot of times we're including a wedge with our schools, with our yeah. short game schools. So. Or a putter. Yep, so check that out. And Any more quick? Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Have a great one. Larry and Melissa again. Thanks Hi, so much for watching our videos. If you have any questions or want to get in touch with us, you can email us, you can call us, text you can us. text us.
But be sure to subscribe. Down on the bottom down there. Thank you.